guys, what is going on? We are back with Batman Arkham Origins. In the last episode we took down, well we confronted the Penguin and we had a fight with Black Mask. And in this episode we are going to go to Lacey Towers and solve the murder mystery there. Now in the last episode, when we ended off Anarchy, was right here. So I think we might talk to Whoa, easy this now. guy I here. Looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Oh. I just had a drink. Alright. Well, it looks like we're doing this. So we have to defuse anarchy bombs. Alright. I can deal with that. Trying to make our way over there as fast as we can. Alright. We're almost there, we've got two minutes left to defuse this first bomb. I believe there's three bombs. Because there's always three of something in a video game. Any available homicide units, please respond to 187 in the Bowery. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. System. There's trouble. All right, here we go. We got the so let's take they these guys out and defuse this bomb. But it also makes you an excellent shack. You're tied to your job, your mortgage, your need to buy the next shiny thing your overpriced television is do. Imagine what we could accomplish if only someone would set us free. We will bring down the <laughs> Alright, these guys are almost done. And there we go. It's done. So, let's defuse this bomb. Or destroy it, rather. Alright. Alfred, we've got a problem. So I saw. This anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two. Yeah, there we go. Three bombs. Find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. Alright. Uh, I think what we'll do, we'll, there was a case file over here, we might do that in another episode, but right now, we need to get to here, the Lacey Towers, it's hard to do it on a keyboard, but we need to get there. Actually, Seeing that we're here, we might as well do the Jezebel Plaza uh, scene, little thing. So we'll set a waypoint for there, and let's go over there. Because I believe when you do enough of these case files, you'll be able to fight more of the assassins. So, I don't know. Alright. The police know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. Well, let's go check the roof then. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Huh. Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Alright. 
Where is this briefcase? Oh, it's up on this thing here. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well known con artist. Alfred, oh, hello, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. Alright. Uh, we will go apprehend this guy because he's on the way to Lacey Towers, so I think we'll head that way. Sounds like a marvelous plan if I do say so myself. Anarchy. Alright, so we have reached the suspect's location and we are going to. Alright, so that's the guy right there. So I'm just going to drop down, take out his friends. Beating. You wait. What do you want? What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a cut I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk him warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? And he's gone. Oh. Alright. Case closed. So let's go over to Lacey Towers, I guess. investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Oh, no, you don't. No tango here. It takes two to tango, not one. I could have kicked him off the edge. Oh well. And they're down. Alright. Let's get this relay station hacked. on the balcony that could be my way in well i suppose we take that way in right by the body yeah we got penguin now like to see him squirm out of this one fingerprints Boop. all right let's go into lacy towers So where am I? Ah, oh, okay. I guess the thing that says door. Yep, and here we are. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. 
But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Alright, um, uh, okay. There's a woman. I can being, identify the female um, victim based on her fingerprints. Hung. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' Jesus. girlfriend. Or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. Okay, um... Uh, we gotta scan This him. bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. The penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. Uh, okay. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. All right. Quickly rewind, rewinding. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Ooh, a cell phone. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Ooh, Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. All right. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. 
If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Alright. So I think we'll head back to um, the back cave and pick up that concussion detonator. And yeah. Oh, there's a guy with a shield here, lovely. Oh, well, I might just get um Let's get that. I can keep going. Kill all there. Bye bye there. Alright. So come in, eight two. Let's go to the bit key. Welcome home, sir. Uh, the concussion detonator. Do I have another level up. No. I'll, I'll actually get ballistic. That'll be it's better. On your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Uh, where is it? Where's my workbench? There it is. Let's talk to Alfred. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. Hmm. Yeah, I get an XP for that. That's cool. Alright, guys. With that, I think I will end the episode off here. And in the next episode, we will break into the GCPD and get the remaining evidence to solve the Lacey Towers murder. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.